Hey all, this is Dr. Eric Fields, the weight loss coach, and today I'm talking about eating when we're bored. More specifically, I'm talking about overeating when we're bored. Because if you are eating when you're bored, then chances are you are overeating. The only time that you're simply just eating when you're bored is when boredom just happens <laughs> to also occur when you are physically hungry. But if you are eating when you are not physically hungry, <clears throat> excuse me, then you are overeating. If you are eating for psychological reasons, then you are overeating. Now, let's take a look at this phenomena of eating when we're bored, right? It sounds so benign and I hear it from clients all the time. What's the big deal? I get bored and then sometimes I just eat. Or it's not such a big deal to just eat when you're bored. You know, it's just boredom. I was just bored. And people talk about this like it's really not something inherently wrong. But here's the thing, like, if you eat once in a while when you're bored, that's totally fine. Like, certainly, I don't expect anybody to always only eat when they're hungry. We're going to eat for social events. Sometimes we are going to eat because of stress or boredom. Gosh knows I do that too. But when you start to do this as a pattern, then that signals that there's an issue. <clears throat> and if there's a pattern whereby you are overeating every time you're bored, then a pattern connotates that this is happening often. So in other words, you're experiencing boredom often. And that is the real issue. Why are you experiencing boredom so often. So another way to look at this is boredom is not such a benign emotion. Now, sure, it's not as intense of an emotion as anxiety, elation, um, depression, but it is a negative emotion. It is actually on the continuum of depression. Now, listen, I'm not saying that when you're bored, it's a serious mental health issue like depression. We're not talking about clinical depression, but it's on that continuum of depression. So like at the extreme end of it, of course, you have severe depression and then all these different gradations and degrees in between and the mildest form of depression would be boredom. This depression continuum really doesn't have as much to do with sadness as it has to do with stimulation. So all people who are experiencing some form of depression are unstimulated, not necessarily sad. And so like when you look at other emotional states like anxiety or mania, right? So that's the opposite of depression in the sense that those states, you are really stimulated. Now, those states are not positive states. We certainly don't want to be manic and we certainly don't want to be anxiety ridden. So a healthy stimulated state would be something like happiness right? And happiness really being a state where we are sufficiently stimulated, not to the point where we're manic and we can't sit still. So if you are bored a lot, then you are not sufficiently stimulated. And you are on the opposite side of the coin if we're looking at positive versus negative emotions, right? You are not happy, you are bored. No, you're not clinically depressed. You don't need, you know, hospitalization or, you know, some mental health services, but you certainly need to take a good look at your life and figure out why am I so bored? Here's the thing. 
anybody who has a compulsive problem, right? Any kind of compulsive behavior that they engage in, the reason why people engage in compulsive behaviors is because they are not able to address the thing that this thing is addressing, right? So in other words, compulsive behaviors are always poor substitutes for the real thing. We do compulsive behaviors because we're not getting fulfilled in the right way. And we're not either able to do the healthy alternative, or we think we're not able to do the healthy alternative, or we don't know what the healthy alternative is, but we are feeling a void and this compulsive behavior fills that void. So what's the solution? You have to figure out what this overeating is doing for you. You have to figure out why you are bored. What is the overeating substituting for or replacing? On a general level, what it's doing for you is it is temporarily fulfilling you, but it's not really doing a good job of that and certainly not fulfilling you on the long term. In fact, what it's really doing for you is just filling you up physically. And filling you up physically becomes a substitute for true fulfillment. It's kind of like we say, well, I don't know how to fulfill myself, so I guess I'll just fill myself. It's better than nothing. When you figure out why you're not so stimulated in life, in what area of life that you frequently are bored with, that's when this overeating will no longer be an issue if this is the reason why you overeat. If you are frequently bored at work and these are the times where you're finding yourself overeating a lot, then it's time to think about a new job role, a new position, or possibly even a new job. If you're overeating when you're bored at home and this is happening a lot, then you have to figure out what's going on in my life at home that's not fulfilling enough for me. You have to do some research and you have to just, you know, start asking family and friends, like, what do you guys do? What are your interests? What are your hobbies? And don't think that, oh, I know my friends and family so well, I already know what they're into because a lot of times people make that error and when I give my clients this task, they actually find out a lot of interesting things about family and friends that they never do. Like all of a sudden, a client will tell me like, oh my God, I had no idea. My friend Johnny was into whitewater rafting. And they'll be like, Johnny, we've been friends for 10 years. You never told me that. Oh, I just never came up in conversation. I didn't know you were into whitewater rafting, so I never talked about it with you. <laughs> you have to start researching ideas and you have to start taking a real hard look at yourself and your life and figuring out what's not working for you and why you're so unfulfilled. So folks, boredom is not such a benign state, especially when it's happening often. So stop thinking like it's no big deal or it's just simply you're overeating when you're bored and that's the reason and there's not much to it. There's absolutely a lot to it. If you can figure out ways to properly stimulate yourself and really excite yourself and, you know, to the point where like you're waking up in the morning and you're like, wow, I can't wait to get off from work today so I can do this, whatever this is, or I'm excited now to go to my job now that my job role has changed. You have to figure out why you're bored so often if this is what's related to your overeating. This is Dr. Fields, and I'll have more to say about this at another time.